Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I will be talking how Matt Ryan going to the Colts benefit the Philadelphia Eagles. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. I know y'all thinking like, we don't play the Atlanta Falcons. Why does Matt Ryan going to the Colts matter to the Philadelphia Eagles? Well, Al Kabir, why do you really care about that? All right, so let's go step by step. So first, I want to say the NFC get weaker. The NFC conference get weaker. Say what you want about Matt Ryan. He's better than Marcus Mariota. That's what they got to replace him. And to me, he's clearly better than him. So now what that means is that that's one less team um, that can make it to the playoffs. It's just one less team. It's a team that's rebuilding. You, Russell Gage is what he's with the Buccaneers. Uh, we already know about Calvin Ridley's situation. They was willing to trade him and try to get something out of him, but now he's suspended for the year. And when you look at their team, it's nothing there. I mean, the the Saints look better than them, and I think the Saints are rebuilding themselves. Um, Bucks got Tom Brady back, so they look good. Carolina, I just don't know. So that whole division is sketchy, except the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's probably one team that probably come out of that division that make it to the playoffs. So that's an extra spot for the Philadelphia Eagles. Number two, draft. Draft, draft, draft. So now... Atlanta Falcons was one of those teams I feared that was going to get one of those skill guys or reach for a skill guy. Like they was probably going to get a cornerback or that wide receiver the Philadelphia Eagles want really want. So now when you really look at it, if I had to project anything, I think they get um, Malik Willis. I think they get Malik Willis or Kenny Pickett, whatever his name is. I think they get one of those guys. And have them back up to Mar Marcus Mariota. Or possibly fight for that number one spot. But if they get anybody else, I will be shocked. Honestly, I will be shocked. But um, other than that, that, that leaves one skilled guy who can fall. And who could fall right in our lap. Because to me, we got the quarterback at least for one year. And that can be a huge benefit. Now you're talking about that defensive guy that offensive guy who can possibly drop to the philadelphia eagles because the falcons don't have the quarterback i thought they're gonna get a skilled guy because they got the quarterback no skill positions but if i was them i'd probably go at the quarterback number three i want to talk about a disadvantage just this one disadvantage and i'm gonna wrap up the video y'all know i've been keeping my video short and sweet the disadvantage is that Say if the Falcons tank, right? They don't get a quarterback. They get a skilled guy. They get a cornerback, a wide receiver, or something like that. They get that guy, and they tank the following season. And they get the quarterback because Jalen Hurts was just bad, and we needed a quarterback. So now that set them up um, for position to get that quarterback we possibly would want that following season because Jalen Hurts was so bad. Let's say this season, and he just couldn't pan out. He just was not good enough. And it's like, man, we know Atlanta Falcons is going to steal our quarterback that we really wanted. And that can hurt us in the future, but that's if Jalen Hurts don't pan out. So that's the disadvantage how this Atlanta Falcons and the Eagles can affect each other, even though they don't play each other. But the NFC Conference get weaker, extra spot. Um, two, the draft, that's a big one. And three, the draft in the future, that's a big one. So those are the three, well, two advantages, one disadvantage of the Atlanta Falcons trade and Matt Ryan. And why does it mean so much to an Eagles fan? But hey, what do you think and how do you feel? Did I reach this whole video? Or I'm thinking ahead. Once again, we don't play the Atlanta Falcons. We play the Saints. We don't really touch the NFC South as much. But yeah, man, that, that's my thoughts on how this can affect the Philadelphia Eagles. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.